So, out of the blue last week, the Greens changed leaders. Melbourne MP Adam Bant took over from Richard Di Natale. And while most Australians see the Greens as hard left extremists, much of the media sees them in much more flattering terms, especially again at the ABC, of course. Here's Jane Norman. Adam Bant has much more of an environmental bent and he is currently the Greens um, climate change spokesman and right now climate change is a very hot topic in Canberra. The summer of bushfires, the apocalyptic smoke choking cities has really shifted the public debate on climate change. So what I think you'll see under Adam Bant is a continued and very strong focus on climate change to try and convince the major parties, to try and convince the coalition to come up with some sort of, uh, you know, national coherent climate and energy policy. Um, we're yet to actually hear from him for him to outline his agenda, but certainly going on his kind of record over the past few years, I think that is certainly the direction that he'll be taking. Apocalyptic smoke. That's some scary rhetoric about climate change and an optimistic assessment of Bant. But what about Bant, the Greens and coherent climate policy, I think was the phrase that was used. Here's Bant on Twitter last month showing a photo of the coalition celebrating the repeal of the carbon tax and declaring this will be Exhibit A in the upcoming climate trials. How's that for coherent? And minutes after the ABC's Norman gave her analysis, Bant gave his first press conference as leader. Big business that makes its money by killing people and endangering people's safety should be worried. Right? Anyone who makes a profit by putting people's lives at risk should be worried because their days are gone. Now, some people in the media are willing to call this out. He's, he's dangerous and he's an extremist. Now, I, I don't know if the Greens think, right, oh, with an, an extreme... And he will talk about climate criminals and how the Prime Minister killed people. I mean, this is appalling. Even some at the ABC can see, he, can see that he's even more extreme than Di Natale, although they express it in the nicest possible way. It is catastrophising and, and it does signal a big shift in the way that the Greens will um, operate under, yeah. uh, under Adam Bad. Now, Business is he's, killing people. He's, yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a lot more of a, a warrior on this. A lot more of a warrior. But at The Guardian, the Green New Deal that Bant has plagiarised from the far-left US Democrats, he's got them all a bit excited. But um, I think he's done a couple of very interesting things, actually, since taking the leadership. One is shifting the climate debate to an economic debate by talking about the New Green Deal. By doing that, he is, in essence, saying we've lost the moral, we've lost the moral challenge debate. Now we have to make this a material debate. We have to make this about what happens to workers in transition. And I think that is well, really yeah, important. Maybe, but he's, he's also, you know, talking about business killing people. Oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not minimising that, David, I'm not. She's not trying to minimise remarks about killing people. Murphy didn't even mention them in her long and approving piece the day before. The closest she got was noting, while Bant projects as fiercely ideological and is, having forged his philosophy in hard-left politics in Victoria... His politics has always been bread and butter at the local level. Over on Radio National Breakfast, Fran Kelly gave us a feeble attempt at holding Bant to account for what she called his more aggressive approach. Let's talk about your leadership style because you've come out swimming, swinging as I said. I mean, there was a very provocative comment you made about Scott Morrison. You also made very provocative comments around big business saying it kills people and endangers their safety. So on the one hand, you're being a provo provocateur. On the other hand, you're, pre you're preaching a, um, a, a sensible, you know, human-focused transition plan. You're trying to walk both sides of the street here. You're putting this out this extreme language because you're trying to drag more people over to the Greens. Is that what you're trying to do here? No, Fran, he's not being provocative. He's accusing political rivals and businesses of killing people. He's slurring people in a vile and extreme way. And guess what? Rather than have a cosy chat about his style, he should be challenged on the substance of this claim. He has no evidence to link people to killings and deaths. Band is being dishonest and alarmist about bushfires and other disasters and trying to pin them 
on his political and ideological rivals. He should be challenged on the facts and held to account. Strange concept, I know. Seems only mainstream, especially right of centre politicians are expected to be honest or stick to the facts. Green left hysteria and vitriol is just amplified and given a leave pass.